rescue shelters are feeling the pressure these days. Too many potential pets, not enough people adopting them. Inflation has made owning and caring for a pet more expensive, leaving some owners struggling to afford rising costs. Our deputy senior producer of National Affairs, Courtney Norris, and associate producer Dorothy Hastings have this story. America's animal shelters are in crisis. Many are at capacity and understaffed with adoptions lagging. In fact, animals are sitting in shelters for longer stints of time than they have in four years. At the Humane Rescue Alliance in Washington, D.C., CEO Lisa LaFontaine has seen a dramatic decrease in adoptions over the last three years. Our intake of animals um, is up 4% but our adoptions of animals are down 10%. And like many other shelters, LaFontaine has seen some owners return dogs, cats, and even bunnies. She's had to get creative to ensure pets don't come back here. If your animal has a minor medical condition and you can't get a vet appointment or can't afford it, you can bring the animal to us. We have wonderful, a wonderful hospital here and our doctors will treat your pet and you can pick them back up. And last year, we were able to keep 642 animals with their people, with the families who already love them. Roughly 200 animals currently await adoption at the Humane Rescue Alliance, like this dog, Maccabee, who thought our microphone was his new chew toy. At a recent adoption event they hosted, Taylor and her boyfriend, Nicholas, welcomed the newest member of their family. I'm working well, so that makes a huge difference. Yeah, I feel like we can like, maybe make sure that she feels comfortable and just be around all the time, which makes, I, I just love that. But many Americans are returning to the office, making it a difficult time to own a pet. 23 million U.S. households adopted a pet during the pandemic. But as inflation continues to squeeze the wallets of Americans, rescue shelters and organizations are tasked not only with getting more animals into homes, but keeping them there. And it's a national problem. According to a recent Forbes survey, 44% of pet owners in the past year have had to pull out their credit card to pay for their pet's expenses. There's no question that pet ownership is getting more and more expensive and some folks on the lower end of the income spectrum are just going to get priced out. Matt Schultz is chief credit analyst at LendingTree. According to one of their surveys last fall, a quarter of owners are struggling to afford the cost of their pet amid inflation and nearly one in four have taken on debt from pet care and less populated areas are hit even harder. In Dumfries, Virginia, an hour outside of D.C., Sherry Turner runs the Humane Society of Northern Virginia. Lately, the request from owners looking to rehome pets is exceeding the number of adopters. This pup, Ellie, was recently surrendered. Her owner could not afford to pay for her medical needs. Rescues are expected or shelters are expected to go and pick up that slack and pay for whatever wasn't done medically and, and to work with the training just so that they can be adoptable. Those are some of the impacts that we, that we see and we feel. Virginia-based rescue, Lucky Dog, has no shelter. They partner with organizations like PetSmart to host adoption events. Lucky Dog director Myra Horowitz has seen some adopters struggle. Maybe they've lost their job or something has happened and they're asking us to take the animal back. We always to try to help people find a solution before we actually do take the animal back, but sometimes there's just, unfortunately, no other thing they can do. For Horowitz, the goal is to keep animals out of kill shelters, and the stakes are high. In 2021, for the first time in five years, the number of dogs and cats euthanized in the U.S. actually increased, and that trend continued last year. But despite the setbacks, shelters and rescues continue to save countless lives, volunteering their time to give these furry friends a new beginning. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Courtney Norris. It's enough to make you want to bring another dog into your home. Just kidding, honey. You can learn more about those pets and the challenges animal shelters are facing online at pbs.org newshour.